자, 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 and I'm using the flip out drill. Lefty Lucy. There we go. So we were able to take uh, this piece off here and I immediately noticed some blackened debris right there, which looks like it's indicative of something wearing out and shredding off. And so we've got that drum roller wheel We've got that one there. So if we, I felt it and it feels fine. It looks okay. So we won't replace those. They're about $10 a piece. Got them off of Amazon, LG OEM factory. And uh, so we'll leave those there. Worn down and damaged. And that's because it's right here. This doesn't even spin. So as we spin this, it's been worn off here. It's just basically been worn off in all sorts of areas. Maybe it should sprint as freely as that or maybe even better. And that's just not, that's just not doing it. Okay, so we need a new one of these because the rubber is definitely damaged. And it should be finding its groove right in here. And so that one is finding its groove right in there. Why is that wheel disintegrating? Is it, a, is it something to do with the edge here? I don't feel any inconsistencies there. So maybe it's just wear over time. Well, so let's go ahead and look at these. And uh, the Amazon package came in just a couple days. Those are the two wheels right there. And then we got a whole bunch of tools we may or may not need. So let's flip it over. And that's where you're going to be able to see how to actually take off this wheel. We have to take this off. Yeah, so it's right back behind here is where the bolt is. Got two machine screws of equal size. See, there's the wheel there. Probably don't even need to take this all the way off, but it might be interesting just to clean inside of it. Yeah, so that's something that you can do. You can clean inside of this. We're gonna clean all this in here, all that junk, before we put this back on with the brush tip. If that's not enough, we'll use this brush and dislodge everything. Now we're gonna remove these bolts. Uh, we can use vice grips on it, not recommended. It looks like it's going to be a 14 millimeter with very little play, if any at all. So, so we'll just go ahead and go lefty loosey. We'll use the vice grips. So remember this way in which it's put on, it's got a, a washer on top with this nut. Okay, and then we've got a, a washer. We've got the insignia markings on that side. That's what was holding it up from spinning freely. If we take a look at this one here, see how we've got a smooth interior, shiny. So that's the new one, that's the old one. You can actually cl just clean all this up. All right, there we go. Clean this off with some WD-40. I guess the markings are on this side. No big deal. We'll slide it on. Guess we'll just give it a try. I won't put it on the rubber because that may not work. All right, well, that feels pretty good. This clip, then it was this washer. Don't get confused, that's not the hole. It's 
to the other side. This one actually is probably not that bad. We will see. This one actually looks pretty darn clean. Yeah, look at all that. Sticky, icky. Nice and clean. Okay. That one works really well. This one just might not be as smooth of a bolt. Doesn't that look a little better? Now when you have this off, it's a good time to actually inspect all these seals here. And obviously these are terrible. I did want to show you guys this little tool here. It's a snake uh, camera. I'll put a link in the description below, but if you use this USB adapter to USB-C or micro USB or uh, any adapter for your camera, um, you plug it in, is a snake cam. It's not the best. Um, you might want to mark the top as to what top is and what bottom is because it can get uh, confusing when you have it shoved in there. So here I'm going to go in a hole in the wall here. So there's a hole in the wall and I can look down and see what's going on. Um, here's a dial that can actually change the intensity of the light whether it's off or on. And maybe this would allow you to uh, see if there's a break in the heating element or... And it's hard to keep it straight, so you might wanna actually tape this onto a coat hanger to keep the wire straight. We could also go back there and inspect this, this other wheel that's here. Yeah, so there's, there's the other wheel and I can inspect and see what debris or the integrity of the wheel without actually having to take it all off. So there, there it is. I'm moving it back towards this wheel here just so I can inspect that wheel and uh, see what's going on, see how it goes and slides into that groove right there. Um, we can look at the groove, we can look at the edge of the wheel, we can, we can not have to get all the way in there. There's some dust in there there's actually quite a bit of dust. And I've got a method of dealing with a lot of this dust. Right there's the heating element. Here's the other wheel. We can inspect that wheel right there and uh, see if it looks like it's doing pretty okay. Um, yeah, it's just a really cool tool. I'm gonna put it in the description below. It's low resolution. It's not fantastic, but where your eyeballs can't get to, and things and you don't want to pull everything apart because maybe you don't have to uh, it really can help out okay so now while i have this off why not give it a thorough cleaning air duster can eh, you probably want to wear a bit of a mask because we don't know what this dust is comprised of skin clothes dyes chemicals that uh basically didn't get outside of the house or whatnot. So it could be comprised of a lot of different things. Dirt, dust, bacteria, viruses, and then you don't want to inhale that. So we could get a brush in there and move things around, but we could potentially knock something loose if we're too vigorous with the brush. So let's go ahead and uh, put on some hearing protection and start this guy up. <laughs> now we could probably blow one, one section and it pushes it all out over here. I'm gonna to wanna to connect up this wire here. I'm keeping my mask on because there's still dust flying around. So the drum is gonna be right on these rollers right there. 
See, there's a little play here, and I want this to all line up and be snug as a bug in a rug. So there's where it connects right here, but we need to lift this roll, this drum up. So we got the brackets all in there. This feels like it's on there pretty good. Feels like the wheels are right in the groove where they're supposed to be. Now if we give it a turn, that feels pretty good. I'm not hearing the clunks that I used to hear, so. So it's basically gonna work right there. What I like is all these screws are basically all the same size except for these six. These two small screws go on the top in the bracket, these go on the front, and these, I don't know where they go, but we'll find out. So we're gonna do one, two, three, and four, put those back together. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four installed. Now we'll install the bracket here, which uh, slides down right here. And these wires are gonna come through the bracket. There's a little clip right there. There's a little in, uh, groove right there where it slides in. And the same is on this side. See how it kind of slides up like that. We're gonna plug in our light. Okay. Then we're gonna find our panel here. But that's what the back panel looks like. As you can see right there, it's the DLE 2516W Super Capacity Sense Dry System Quiet Operation. It wasn't quiet, that's why we fixed it. Now we're gonna put this guy on, and there's tabs down here at the bottom. There's a tab here and a tab there. And that's gonna connect right into that spot on both sides. This is gonna connect into that switch right there. So that's a switch. So now we can get these one, two, three, four, and then two on the top, and then one and two. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Two small ones on the top. Make sure our drum is still moving smoothly. Okay, it is. So it's these guys with the flat top, which is gonna go right in these two spots. Okay, so that's held in tight. We got all our screws in there. We did the top. Now we can do our uh, front portion here which is gonna be these sort of off-colored. Now we'll connect our panel back up. So this, this long one's gonna connect over here. And they give you just enough room to accomplish this. The back side, once we get it kind of plugged in, we'll do what we can though. Make sure none of the wires are stretching or being forced into any one position or being crimped or pinched. Now we can just install these two screws uh, on, the, on the back side here. Now right there, I should, have re I should have routed that one wire that goes to the door up through that clip and that clip and then it goes down through here, but I didn't, so oh well. So we're gonna just put it on here like this and there's these uh, little plastic pieces that uh, help guide the sliding activity here. 
So we're gonna have it like that, and we're just gonna slide it on like that, and so that's on uh, with this bracket. So it's hard to see, but it, there's the bracket back here. And uh, we'll start the screws. So here's that bracket piece. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. The smaller ones go on bottom, the bigger ones on top. Um, there is a difference in the screws. This one's so more silvery. This one's less. And that's it. Now we just need to plug it in, give it a test. And this is just routed. I know you don't really want angles here, but this seems to be working pretty well. And then it just shoots straight up. So I've gone ahead and plugged that in there. I want to show you this. This basically brings all this up to the proper level. So when I walk up to it, I don't have to bend down and I go from washer to dryer. So I just need to travel this distance with my clothes. And often I can put a bucket here or lean up against in case things fall and just get them in there. Another thing I've done is this probably needs a little bit of an improvement aesthetically, but right now it works. This may shake and I don't want this to fall on the floor and create an entire, a huge mess. This is positioned right where everything needs to go. So I just pull it out, press it for three seconds, push it back in and we're good to go. The lights are gonna turn off. I'm gonna come back and you can see how the motion turns the lights on, allowing me to do work, leave, and not ever have to turn on a switch. Here we go. All right, so you see how that worked? This may be on a little bit longer than, than I need, and we can just basically uh, take this off and look in the back side of it and make the necessary adjustments. After I've got everything put together, let's test it, okay? Let's see if the light works. The light does come on, that's good. Okay. Silence. That works really well. Sounds so much better. So that's a success. We'll let that run for a little bit. Then we'll start running clothes back and forth. That sounds great. Hopefully it keeps up. So here's the basic routine. This little ledge allows me to put the clothes right there. I'll shove them in like so. Okay. Close this. Let's put some detergent in like that. Okay. Close that off. It's too easy. And you see how they're angled? They're angled a little bit towards one another, so it makes it a little bit easier. Instead of having to come over here and then over there, it's just more of a turn. I'll show you how we do the uh, dryer portion. So here's the process. I open both of these up. I take out all these clothes and I slide it over. And I'm not bending down too far. I just move it over, move it over like that. It's too easy. Here's a little trick. If you've got uh, your dryer sheets, if you use them, um, you just stick a magnet inside the dryer sheet box like this. And put your dryer sheets in. 
Now you don't have to go hunting for them. It's not scattered all over the top. It's not scattered in the bottom. You just stick it right where you need it. See, right there. So you open up your clothes, you take a dryer sheet, throw it in, you close it, and you're good to go. Obviously you can put it here or any other place, but maybe even put it up on top. Won't shake off.